Hello, everyone, and welcome to Podcast Nine and Three Quarters, a Potter podcast. I'm your host, the Half Blood Princess. In today's video, I'd like to discuss how the Order of the Phoenix movie left out some important St. Mungo's moments. But before we get started, if you love Harry Potter as much as I do, be sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. St. Mungo's Hospital for Magical Maladies and Injuries is a wizarding hospital located in London. St. Mungo's served the entire wizarding population of Great Britain, but the hospital would also see muggles who had been injured or affected by something magical. In the fifth Harry Potter book, The Order of the Phoenix, St. Mungo's is featured because after the attack on Arthur Weasley at the Ministry of Magic by Nagini, Arthur had to recover at St. Mungo's. In the movie, we see Mr. Weasley recovering at Grimwald Place on Christmas Day. In the book, he spends Christmas Day in the hospital. There are two scenes from the books at St. Mungo's Hospital that should have been left in the movie, The Order of the Phoenix. First, Harry, Ron, Hermione, and Ginny are at the hospital Christmas Day, and they see Gilderoy Lockhart. His memory had regained enough that he was able to write in cursive, and he still enjoyed signing autographs. Ron felt sort of guilty because it was his wand that backfired the memory charm on Lockhart to make him this way, but Harry did not because it was them who Lockhart was trying to use that memory charm on. Overall, they realized that Lockhart had not changed much, but was now a permanent resident of St. Mungo's because of the brain damage caused from the backfiring spell he used on them in the Chamber of Secrets. Secondly, they also see Alice and Frank Longbottom, Neville's parents, at St. Mungo's. They also have permanent spell damage from being tortured by Death Eaters at the end of the First Wizarding War. We get to read about an emotional interaction between Neville and his mother, and it really gives more depth to Neville's character to get more of his background in this moment. I would have loved the St. Mungo's moments making its way to the big screen and to get to actually see how they play out. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, and be sure to like and subscribe. Okay, love you. Bye.